Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I thought I would just do a little, I mean it's not really a part four, it's nothing new to show you, but um, I wanted to show you, I, I just took that um, circular sequencer that we made in the last three parts and threw that into a B patcher, which is just a patcher within a patcher, and brought that into one kind of master patch, and just wanted to show you like some of the messing around that you could do if you, if you felt so inclined. Um, so each of these I just hooked up to a MIDI out that goes to an instance of Ableton Live here. Um, so all those MIDI notes are going out and triggering MIDI events in Ableton. Um, and yeah, just you know, if you wanted to see what uh, some of the dumb stuff you could do, then you know, stick around. I'll show you. So anyway, let's start our little metro. Each of these is firing away nicely, and let's get a kick. Cool. So yeah, let's show you a little bit of messing around.
Okay, so there you go. There's a little bit of um, goofing around that you could do um, with this kind of object. Naturally, there's tons of other stuff you could do just beyond triggering MIDI events. Um, anyway, I thought it was a cool way to get some uh, pretty interesting rhythms without taking making it without putting a whole lot of effort into it, uh, which is definitely my approach towards composition whenever possible. Um, so anyway, if you watch, thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.